Hey, what's up there? Do yourself first. Today I'm going to do a quick video and show you how you can test and diagnose problems with your PCB system and also how the PCB system on your car works. Alright, so PCB stands for positive crankcase ventilation and its job is to relieve the pressure that builds up in your crankcase as a result of blow-by. So as your piston moves up the cylinder wall towards its compression stroke while compressing the air fuel mixture and also during combustion, some of that stuff is just going to sneak past your cylinder, uh, your piston rings. So no matter how well, uh, you know, how, how well maintain, maintained they are or how new they are, it's just going to happen. You're always going to have some blow-by, which is the air fuel mixture sneaking past your piston rings. And that stuff is going to end up in your crankcase and it's going to build up pressure. And the PCV, uh, the PCV system's job is to relieve that pressure because otherwise if you don't relieve that pressure, this stuff can do potentially a lot of uh, damage to your engine. It could cause uh, oil, con uh, oil contamination, it could blow your crank seals, your camshaft seals, your oil pan gaskets, because it's just going to have to find a way out. And if you have a PCV valve that's stuck closed, for example, you know, it's going to cause those leaks, it's going to contaminate the oil, and maybe uh, even uh, engine sludge could happen which could really damage your engine if, it, if you let it go and treat it. And also a lot of times when you find a PCV valve that's stuck closed, your piece, the pressure escapes through your oil dipstick tube. And that's usually a, a telltale sign that you have a PCV valve that's stuck closed because generally speaking the oil dipstick tube is probably the easiest way for the pressure that builds up here to escape. I wasn't able to do a good job of demonstrating this but uh, the pressure buildup that happens in your crankcase can travel to your cylinder heads which are these two here uh, through the same oil holes that are there from your cylinder head to your crankcase to have the oil that gets pumped up here to your camshafts to be po poured back into your crankcase to be recycled again and when that reaches your cylinder head and once the throttle uh, plate opens it causes a vacuum in this line here that goes to your PCV valve and uh, th then the build of pressure from your crankcase gets to travel here back to your throttle body back to your intake and gets to be recycled again because again remember this is unburned fuel and uh, air mixture and it can be ran through the engine again without much problem and with every PCV system you're always going to have a breather tube breather tube is there to supply uh, filtered fresh air into your crankcase because if you don't supply uh, fresh air in, in there you, the, your PCV valve is going to cause a vacuum here and also it's going to suck up oil through the PCV valve and this tube here and recycle that and burn too much oil and you don't really want to be doing it and uh, breather tube you can you know on, the, on this graph I show that it's uh, attached to this uh, tube that goes from your air, fil air filter box to your throttle body but a lot of times it's connected to your air filter box directly and sometimes and on the car that I'm about to show you it's connected to your throttle body but before the throttle plate all right, now let's get on to uh, how this stuff looks on a car <laughs> and how you can test your PCV valve. And I know I did, uh, when I did the drawing, it was for a V-shaped engine, but we're going to be doing this on a four-cylinder engine. It, you know, it works the same way. You're going to have a PCV valve, this guy right here. You're going to have a vacuum hose that goes from your PCV valve to your intake manifold, which is here. And then you're going to have a breather tube that supplies fresh air. And now on this car, this breather tube is connected to your throttle body back here, but it is before your throttle plate, which is this guy right here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do if you're suspecting a problem with your PCV system is to visually inspect these, both this uh, vacuum line and this breather tube. You want to make sure they're in good order. They're not brittle, you know, they're not cracked. If you have to get a mirror, check underneath these or pull them off your valve cover even and check them thoroughly, make sure they're in good shape. So what you want to do next is to remove your PCV valve and uh, inspect it further. And a lot of times these PCV valves are screwed into your uh, valve cover. So you want to, sometimes you're going to need a wrench to take them out. This one, I don't know yet, but I don't think it's screwed in there. I think it's just uh, got a rubber grommet on the bottom and it's just uh, forced into your valve cover. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get this out of the way. Yeah, some oil buildup or some oil residue is normal, 
since you know no matter what you do oil is going to get up through your PCB valve to your intake so now next we are going to get this PCB valve off you know what this might break during removal but it's okay because they're only five bucks and it's time to replace it anyway <laughs> There we go. All right guys, and here it is. There's the actual look at of the PCV valve itself. That's the valve that's in there. That's the, that's the valve that moves up and there's vacuum here and allows uh, crankcase pressure to be passed through this valve back to your intake. And uh, the way people test these is basically they just shake it and if the valve is moving around freely, then it's a good PCV valve. But in order to be 100% sure, we're gonna reattach this to the to our intake and then we're going to start the car and then we're going to come back here we're going to open the throttle and then check for vacuum here all right as you can see this valve there's vacuum here and this valve you can actually hear it Yeah, you can actually hear it open and close, so this is a good valve here. This is, if you were testing this PCV valve, we would call this a good valve. And there you have it, folks. We didn't even have to play with the throttle plate to see whether that PCV valve was working or not. And that's really all there is to testing a PCV valve. And with that said, I hope this video helps people out there. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.